Hello, hello. So I was just going to sit down to write some posts and content and think about what do I want to share with people? What do I want to say um, here on Instagram or on my blog or whatever? And I felt just completely stuck, just kind of blocked. And I was sitting with it like I've done every week for the last five plus years. And I was like, what do I actually want to say? And what kept coming through to me was like, just bring the human, just be human. And lately, like social media, the internet has felt very heavy. And I know I'm not alone in feeling that. I have so many different colleagues and friends and clients who, you know, over the course of this past year, um, have really had to like reconsider relationship with the internet and social media. And how that feels and so for me like social media has always been two things it's been for connection and for speaking my truth and so it's going to continue being that for me but as i was kind of sitting there like what do i want to say and why does it feel so hard and like heavy to actually just say something right now um and it like i said it just kept coming through just bring the humanness i think a lot of times we um maybe think that we have to be robots or we have to be a certain way or say a certain thing or there's so many different pressures and that's where some of the heaviness comes from i think and what i always crave when i am on the internet or looking at social media or reading something is just like connection is that humanness and so i think being able to just share that share the human um is really going to be the anecdote to a lot of those pieces to realize that you know these um ideas of connection and and sharing truth that's how you know for me at least social media remains something that's positive and i don't take it for granted being able to connect with colleagues and friends and especially clients too like it's i have so much gratitude for you know these different platforms and for being able to reach people and work no matter where i'm at in the world it's so cool and so when i was sitting here with that heaviness i was like i gotta shift this i gotta get rid of this and i want to be able to share not just to share something but to actually add value um, speaking truth has been super important for me since I started, you know, this whole um, business. Even before that, right, it was like all in my head, writing all these things in my head. And so speaking truth for me means speaking truth around the experience of chronic illness, the ways in which our current medical system does not serve us, the things I saw working as a nurse in the conventional system, and the things I experienced as a patient moving through it myself. Also my truth, what do I know about how we can empower ourselves to take care of our bodies on a daily basis? Truth about how we can support each other as a community and how that's one of the most important things. Truth that I can share from these experiences that it's really important for me to get out in order to uh, help other people um, and also just to be able to express myself and what I know too. So. For me, that's super important. And in terms of just like bringing the human, I think for me, it just felt like giving, you know, kind of an update um, of this human, this humanness, this imperfection that was greatly highlighted, you know, throughout the last year of just so much humanness and rawness that came up for all of us. So for me, like I'm recording this video in Topanga, California right now. I moved from Seattle, where I am from. I mean, I've lived a million different places, but uh, moved to Topanga for my husband's job. Um, and I got a husband, <laughs> so got married amidst uh, um, the pandemic and everything as well, which, you know, was its own journey in surrender um, and uh, life laughing at you for having plans. So ended up having a really beautiful, very small ceremony in my parents' backyard, which was magic. And I probably should have done that in the first place. It goes along with my personality of hating to be the center of attention being feeling like allergic to that so that was wonderful moved here it's been really awesome being able to be in nature being close to the ocean which I love being able to have some sun has been a great change so 
it's really been able to help me ground, help me take care of myself, um, and then be able to better give to others as well. So I've been loving being here in this new place, in this new scene. In terms of working, I've been continuing to work full time with one on one clients, working in nutrition coaching, which I absolutely love. And that has been, you know, my main work for the last five years. I've been learning so much. I did an advanced practitioner training with Andrea Nakayama and the Functional Nutrition Alliance to become a functional nutrition lifestyle practitioner. So, more acronyms on the name, but it really just helped me to be able to um, hone in on the art of my practice of coaching and gave me a lot more new tools in order to help people. So um, it's been really awesome, you know, being able to be in that community and learn and just to be able to take um, my offerings to the next level. So that's been awesome. I've also been doing some work with another company, working to deliver group coaching through insurance. So really being able to allow more access to a lot of these things that I've been, you know, teaching and working with for so long, um, which is another, you know, mission of mine to be able to get more people to have this kind of holistic support, this functional nutrition support. So that's been really cool to be able to um, work in more of a team um, and create something that's bigger than myself. So I've loved doing that too. I've been able to work a lot still on my own health, my own healing journey. Um, I'm feeling great in my body and in health um, as many know i mean it's been a long journey since i was like 18 years old um but have really figured out what works for me and it's it's amazing and so the biggest thing for me now for health is really finding balance i have so many cool projects coming my way interviews summits work with clients all these different things and i'm like yes let's do it and then i'm like okay but let's find the balance so like that's the biggest work for me right now is finding the balance um, in order to take care of myself and I know I'm not alone in that one either <laughs> judging by the amount of people and clients I speak to on a weekly basis who are really feeling that too so that's all of our work and I'm you know on that journey with you too I think it's really cool to be able to work with people and as I'm speaking through something I'm like yeah I'm learning this one with you right so we don't always have to come from that expert seat but to be able to really like sit in that deep knowledge, uh, wisdom, embodiment of that experience um, has been really helpful for me to be able to work with people in a really powerful, transformative way. So that's my biggest work now. Um, I got a lot of support this last year or so health-wise when I was in Seattle from Dr. Patrick Fox, an amazing naturopath who helped me understand how chronic Lyme has been a part of my health history and health journey along with other things. Um, work with Rianne in Stanford, an amazing acupuncturist, acupuncturist and Chinese medicine practitioner in Seattle. She's awesome as well. Um, Cosetta Romani is another mentor of mine who I did an amazing women's group with that really helped me to deepen my self-care um, and awareness of how to really care for my body deeply. She's an awesome energy, uh, energy healer and shamanic practitioner in Seattle as well. So it's, you know, coaches need coaches, healers need healers, and that's been really awesome for me to work on my health too as well. Um, and so I just want to be able to, you know, wanted to just share a couple little updates with everyone here um, and know that my truth or how I want to, you know, engage with, with social media and with what I share is still really about sharing these learnings, sharing these truths, whether it's through um, videos or blog posts or Instagram posts or whatever it is so that I can continue to empower um, and um, be helpful you know for a community that I care a lot about too um, you know another piece that's been really important for me is creating a really supportive community a welcoming community um, this year of course we've all been doing a lot of learning and unlearning about things like systemic racism that exist in our society and especially in healthcare and um, you know the medical world as well. So 
I've been, you know, doing a lot of work in my own sphere of influence, having tough conversations, um, putting, you know, some of these learnings into action, donating where I can to black educators, um, and really speaking and sharing my truth to condemn racism and systemic racism and make sure that this little community or any community or sphere that I am a part of is welcoming for all people, not just people who might look like me or have the same life experience as me. So that is always a really important goal for me as well. Um, one that I am imperfect at, I'm continuing to learn and figure out my place in that, but I know that I can use my voice where I can. So that's again where social media comes into play, right? It is about community and connection and sharing truth for me. So when I'm able to um, speak about those things in a way that you know matters to me, it helps me to be able to create this supportive community where every single person knows that they can come and feel welcome, you know, that they belong here. And um, advocating for that is really, really important to me as well. So I'm really grateful to be able to uh, connect with people here, to be able to meet clients here, for them to let me into their lives, to do, you know, nutrition coaching work. Um, it really is still such a joy for me to do that. Um, and I'm going to, you know, continue to just bring the human um, and bring the imperfect pieces of you know, myself and my health journey and my work and all of this to it. And I encourage you to do the same. I would love to know more about you as a human, just bringing your whole self here too. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And let's connect in the comments because connection, truth, that's what it's all about.